going on, everybody? This is Lauren from the TMF Podcast. Tonight, we're going to do a live stream fight companion for this pay-per-view right here, UFC 261. And I'm pretty stoked for it. I am. There's going to be three title fights, which are going to be awesome. And then there's going to be Usman versus Masvidal 2, which I expect Kamara Usman to come out on top of Jorge Masvidal. Now, I'm going to tell you what one of the most savage moments I've seen at a uh, press conference in a while has been. The press conference for this this fight took place on Wednesday or Thursday this week. And I listened to it and I watched some of it. And I got to say, Jorge Masvidal walking around with a BMF belt is hilarious. It's funny. I don't know why you're wearing it. Why are you taking it anywhere? It doesn't mean anything. Look, the BMF belt was a participation trophy at best. Let's be honest. They... They didn't have anything to offer up, so they created this thing, and if you're never going to defend it, it don't matter. That's a participation trophy. That's what it is. Kamara Usman came out and he said, one of the guys asked him at the press conference, "Do you uh, is Masvidal going to put the belt on the line? And Masvidal said, you got to be a BMF to come after this belt. Okay. Who do you think that guy is? Carrying around the real belt. Who has defended it four times in the last year and a half? Just saying. You beat one guy. You beat Nate Diaz. And Nate Diaz is a bad mother. No lie about it. But if you're not going to put it up ever, you're just walking around the participation trophy, bro. Look, if Kamara Usman got the middleweight belt and just walked around with it and never defended it, it don't mean anything. Just doesn't. It doesn't mean anything. So it's pretty funny. So they asked him about that, and then they asked Kamara Usman about the belt, and he said, "What belt?" And they said the BMF belt. And he said, "Only three belts up here. I only see three gold." And he's referring to his belt, and then the two women's champs on stage. And that, my friends, is how you shut down the trash talk of this man right here. I think tonight, I think Usman's going to knock him out. That's my prediction. I think Usman's going to get a TKO on Jorge Masvidal. That's my prediction. That's what I want to see. I think after the first fight, where it was a little bit more, uh, less exciting, we'll say, than anticipated, I think that that Jorge Masvidal gets knocked out. I think he's going to come in there with an expectation of Usman wanting to go to the ground. I think Usman will probably take him to the ground. I think he'll probably uh, do pretty well. But I do think that Usman, at this point in the game, I think he wants to actually knock him out. I think he wants to shut up haters and say, look, you say I can't strike? Okay. I think he's going to knock his face off. We'll see what happens. We're only about probably six hours away from this fight going live. So let me know what you think. And if you want to uh, follow us tonight, on the TMF podcast, I do believe we're going to do a fight companion. Talk about it. We could zoom you in. You can you can uh, talk to us in the chat and let us know what you're going to think. I cannot show you the fight. Obviously, YouTube is very, very, very against that. I can't even have the audio on. So you're just going to have to uh, listen to us, man. And we're going to talk about some of these fights. And uh, I don't know where we're going to start. Maybe we'll start with some prelims. Maybe we'll uh, start with those. We'll see what happens. But I'm definitely going to live stream these big fights uh, and talk about them in real time. So I hope to see you guys there. But that's what I think. I think the BMF title, bro, I think you need to leave it at home. You notice it's not in this picture anywhere. Only one gold in that photo, Masvidal. Damn sure ain't yours. And after tonight, probably still won't be yours. Maybe I'll eat my words. Just don't think so. I think Usman is going to uh, murk you. 